Today is the feast of King Henry II, the Holy Roman Emperor, about a thousand years ago. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and it seems that around this time of year we get a number of saints or beatified persons who were lay people. Clearly, every vocation is a path to holiness, and in fact, if you think about it, we either become saints in the end, or we are alienated from God and the communion of saints forever. You don't have to be in a cloistered convent or monastery to become a saint. Lay people become saints in the very midst of their busy lives. That's what the Second Vatican Council highlighted in its document on the laity. Here's what the bishops there wrote. The life of intimate union with Christ in the church is nourished by spiritual aids which are common to all the faithful. These are to be used by the laity in such a way that, while correctly fulfilling their secular duties in the ordinary conditions of life, they do not separate union with Christ from their life, but rather, performing their work according to God's will, they grow in that union. In this way, the laity must make progress in holiness in a happy and ready spirit, trying prudently and patiently to overcome difficulties. Neither family concerns nor other secular affairs should be irrelevant to their spiritual life. In keeping with the words of the Apostle Paul, whatever you do in word or work, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Such a life requires a continual exercise of faith, hope, and charity. Only by the light of faith can one always and everywhere recognize God in whom we live and move and have our being. Seek his will in every event. See Christ in everyone, whether he be a relative or a stranger, and make correct judgments about the true meaning and value of temporal things.